The innovation platforms are a way to bring people with different experiences together for common action. In this case, they work together on natural resource management and improve livelihoods. In Nile Basin Development Challenge, we have three action research locations, Jaldu Warada, Fogara Warada and Digga Warada. In innovation platforms, we try to bring together these stakeholders. We have communities represented from each Kabbalist. There are university research centers and development agents and also some farmers. We set up these innovation platforms to build their own capacities. We try to minimize the gap and that will improve their linkage, network, coordination and we want them to learn one from each other. After we identified the different stakeholders, we established the innovation platform through sending them official letters and they came to our first innovation platform. We briefed them about our objective in terms of innovation platforms, what we want to achieve with them. We brought an issue of uh, what their roles could be and together we have identified a term of reference. After we did the first, we came to the second innovation platform with the objective of identifying, prioritizing the main issues of rainwater management or natural resource management. Because the communities were not fully represented in our innovation platform members, we decided to do some community engagement activities. We did a focus group discussion, uh, we did a participatory video in Fogara. Through all these engagement activities, we try to prioritize with communities what real issues they have on the ground. So after we bring what they have prioritized in each side to the innovation platforms, we present both side by side and try to prioritize from uh, communities and as well as from experts. All sites have selected forage intervention as an entry point to deal with their big main issues, which is different in the three sites. If you take uh, Digga, Digga is having a problem with termites where these natural resource management are being damaged. The forage development was introduced because there are some forage species that uh, resist this also termite infestation. And in Jaldu, we have land degradation. The highland is really degraded and the soil productivity is very less. If we introduce these forage developments, that will complement the current national campaign of soil and water conservation. So with that, we can improve something on land degradation. If you ask me about the Fogara case, the big issue is free grazing. Land is degraded, they are running out of forage, so that is direct implication in terms of our intervention. On each innovation platform meetings, we plan together for joint action in terms of when to plant, what kinds of forage trees we need to plant, and when, who is going to do what. They have also come up with some technical groups who will follow up in between the regular innovation platform meetings. During planning, we try to do this action research in small farmers, and they give them awareness creation. If they are successful with these farmers, they are going to scale it up with other farmers. They will also promise them to demonstrate field days if they are going to be successful with this. There are a lot of problems that we encounter. The time that we had in Nile Basin Development Challenge is too short because innovation platform is set up not only for trying something out on the ground but also with behavioral change. When you set platforms where there is no that kind of experience, they can't see the impacts that innovation platforms will bring to their world within a short period of time. And that is also, uh, last year we faced a problem in terms of training and participatory approaches. So we provide trainings for innovation platform members on uh, innovation platform facilitation skills and on participatory research methods. This year we devolve the roles and responsibilities to our local partners. They are managing the innovation platform meetings in a way that we can give them a good training come up with a good lesson in one specific site with one issue so that we can scale it up to other sites.